Kevin Anderson and I'm the owner and creator of Sass Queen Bling and today I'm going to show y'all how I made these two adorable fall style cups <laughs> and I hope you enjoy it and if you use my tutorials share your work and hashtag Sass Queen Bling so that I see it because I would love to see what y'all do with the same technique. All right let's go. I already sanded my cup and prepped it by spraying it with Rust-Oleum two times white flat spray and I've mixed up 20 milliliters of epoxy and I added enough bright from peachy olive glitters just to cover the top of the epoxy and mixed it up and now I'm just going to apply my first coat. Now that I've got my first layer of epoxy on, I'm ready to apply my clear cast. I got my clear cast from Crafty Thriving, and I'm just going to measure where I want to place that. And I measure it at three inches by five and a quarter inches, but I'm going to cut it a little bit longer than I need it because I can trim it off whatever extra is on the top. After I've measured it, I go ahead and cut it with my cutting tool so I can get a good clean edge. And then I'm ready to apply it. I like to fold my piece back just to get the edge and apply that edge. And as I'm after I get that lined up with the top and the bottom, then I press it on and then I just work from that side to the other side, pushing out any bubbles that may come up. Don't worry about being perfect because you can come back with your craft knife and pop any air bubbles that are in there and push those out. Once I get that on, then I just run my fingers around the edge just to push that clear cast over the edge. And since the clear cast is stretchy, it's pretty easy to push it over that edge. Then just trim off any that's left over the top edge. Make sure you have a sharp blade on your craft knife when you trim that because it's hard to, that clear cast is kind of thick, so it's hard to. Um, trim that off if you don't have a sharp blade. Now that I have the clear cast on, I'm ready to apply my decal to the front of the cup. I'm using Hayes Water Slide and I've already sealed it three times with Rust-Oleum two times clear spray. And I just sit mine in the water just long enough for it to start to come apart. And then I just separate it, make sure I have water on my cup. 
and apply it to the cup. That's the easiest way for me to do it. Everybody has their own way, so whatever works for you. Once I get it where I want it, then I will squeegee the water out of it. You want to make sure you get all the water out of it before you apply epoxy to it. First, I try to make sure I have it exactly where I want it at, then squeegee the water out. to um, get ready to apply my decals on my breast cancer awareness cup my wording decal I just made myself on this design space using the fonts that were on there and then I just cut them to piece them where I want them at I'm just weeding those now to get those ready to apply Now I want to apply my water slide to it, the same as I did my other cup. Now that I have my water slide on, I will apply my decal that I cut to the back of the cup. When I apply these, I don't like to put them on there straight, so because I'm not good at doing that and I don't want to have to cut vinyl a million times and be frustrated, so I just place them on there piece by piece how I want them without them going on there straight. I get that done I'm ready to apply the sticky dots to the breast cancer awareness cup and I'm using peachy olive glitters salty beach glitter to apply to those glue dots and after I do a couple at a time and then apply my glitter and then use my chip brush to make sure I brush that off really well once I get all those all of these placed then I will brush it off really well with the brush and then I'll seal it three times with the Rust-Oleum two times clear spray just to make sure I don't have any rogue glitter that's going to travel on the cup when I go to apply my epoxy because I don't want that silver glitter to travel anywhere. I want it to stay on the dots or not be on the cup. <laughs>
after I have all that done and I've sealed the glitter, now I'm ready to apply my next layer of epoxy to both cups. And I'll let those turn for at least eight hours to make sure they're good and dry before I go to the next step that I want to do. Now that the epoxy is dry, I'm ready to move on to the next step. I want to add vinyl strips to the edge of the clear cast to give it a clean look. This is holographic black vinyl from 143 Vinyl. And I got this template from LB Creates. She has a template on her website to cut these strips. And it's very convenient just to use that file and cut these strips and then just have them on hand when you need them. Now that I've done all that, I'm ready to epoxy and I've mixed up 20 milliliters of epoxy for these. And I'm just going to coat those and let those turn for about six hours and then I'll go into a second coat for the final coat. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please remember to um, subscribe to me on YouTube so that you get my updates and ring the bell just to be sure you get those updates. Also follow me on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram so that you don't miss anything that I may post. Sometimes I do have giveaways and you don't wanna miss those either. Thank you for liking my video. Thank you for following me and thank you for all your support. Bye.